The following is a presentation of WON Sports, America's home of champions. Live from Exeter Lanes in New Hampshire, all season long we have been raising money for bowlers and their families in the fight against the costs of this terrible disease. Donate today and take part next season by going to CandlePins4Cancer.com as you see it on your screen. Introducing the stars of our final ladies ladder match, our previous winner and number three seed, Madison Riva. <laughs> and the number one seed with a roll off score of 586, Sharon Britton. <laughs> and now your hosts, Paul Grant and Mike Morin. Thanks, Craig Guya. Bob Lee with us also. Thank you for watching on Kennelpin Bowling Network and those later on on the WON Sports Network. Shout out to Jonathan Rios, putting them together for us. 20 year old young Sharon Britton, number one seed, broke your high five in the qualifier, 586. Absolute dominant performance that day. Yeah, it was amazing. It was like a good, it was a good feeling bowling with everybody and just having fun and laughing and. It was, it was a lot of fun. You had a back injury and you had surgery on 2013 for your back. What happened with you there? Um, I had scoliosis and I had to take like a year off and to fix that. I had surgery. I have two metal rods in my back um, and it took a while to come back and actually like figure out how to like, re I had to relearn bowling and I had to, it was a long, very long process coming back and right. learning everything. Good luck today. All right, Mike Moore with Madison Powerball Riva. Uh, I think mega bucks after yeah. today. Yeah. Give me one of them, please. <laughs> you know, we we know all about your bowling and your uh, your your bloodlines and everything else. But you know, what else about you? you? You college graduate, right? Yes, I did go to college. I graduated in 2019 uh, from Salem State. And your degree was uh, sport movement science with a concentration in sport management. Really? Is that something perhaps when your bowling days are done that you might like to uh, segue into? Uh, maybe. Um, I'm thinking about maybe going back to school, uh, try, try to get a master's, see what I can get. We'll see. Focus on this for now. Sure. So are you going to try to get the, uh, the ball speed over 40 miles an hour this game? We'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, you, as we did a little, I talked to your mom during the match, and I talked to yeah. Janet Pock, who's here today. And they both agreed that your mom was one of the harder throwers for women back then. So what chance did you have not to be? I mean, I think I got a little bit of both of them in me. I got my mom's accuracy. I got my dad's mule kick. I got it all. <laughs> all right. Well, you're fun to watch, and, uh, and good luck to you today. Thank you so much. All Thank right. You. Paul? Okay, Mike, the winner of this match gets $1,200 and we're up $700. Extra lane, shoot us pub. Extra New Hampshire on Kenneth Mullen Network. Let's get underway. It's championship three string time. final. Remember, Candlepin scores like big ball bowling, but you roll three small balls instead of two big balls. Any pins dropped on the deck stay on the deck and can be used as live wood. Even the spares are rare, so picking pins is essential to success. All right, thanks, Greg. Bob Lee with us also. Bob Lee in the radar gone with Madison River between 37 and 39. Um, it, it just through through for a strike in one of our earlier games and right down the middle again. Another nine drop. She'd be great in a nine pin tournament. Like a, she's a lefty. Um, she slides in front of the three pin with her, um, with her right foot. It looks like a three step approach, but Spare. Actually, there's a little three foot, a little three step, a little two step in behind her. You know, she goes back one, two, and then forward one, and then it takes a big long three step approach and delivers that ball straight as an arrow. Ball comes up over her head if you watch it from behind. Full extension. On the bonus. In the pocket. Seven. The Matt Susie special. The five, seven, ten. No wood, no luck. Matt Susie, the current Atlantic Hamilton singles champion from last year at Little Lanes, made the shot on a spare, for a spare, right here on these lanes next to her. He made this in Candlepin? Yeah, the extra lanes here wow. in the Sunday Pro League the last couple seasons ago. So I caught the Susie special. As you Nine should. Bucks. All right, this is her, uh, well, not her true TV uh, debut, but I don't believe that uh, she has bowled in a match of this, shall we say, import in her young 20 years. Sharon Britton from Haverhill, Mass. Sharon, S-H-A-R-Y-N. Beautiful ball, crossing over, she gets nine. Three pin for a spare, raucous crowd on hand. 
Now, if she can pick this up, that'll certainly get the nerves out. Turn 21, last week of September. First spare, missed it. Bunch of nerves probably early on. First ball was a good one, though, that's for sure. She looks up to Mark Ritchie, the world record holder of 519 as her mentor at Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury Mass. He wasn't there for a nine. Yeah, I like Mark Ritchie. He's a good guy. Great guy. Hope we'll yep. see him uh, August 6th. I in, hope uh, so. World exhibition match, Pro Bowlers, world record holders, and Pro Bowlers. Haven't seen him in ages. Sunday, August 6th, 11 a.m. Bowler Rama. Melissa, Clifford. right? That's, that's Melissa right. Ritchie. Yeah. She's a good bowler, too. She got yeah. injured. She's out for a while. She's making a comeback. Very dangerous bowler. Second box, first string, seven, eight. Rock and rolling on the two and the five. I like her style. Right above the the logo above, made by Steve Reno Sr. in the Hall of Fame this year also. That's Father Harry Reno. Who made the guy. logo? Steve Reno Steve Sr. Did? Oh, wow. Was he a graphic artist or just dabbled Seems in Seems to be or? for spare. Got it. 19 of all through two. And there's now a big seven. smile. Sharon oh, fire up. Going, wow. All right, got that out of my system. <laughs> they've been two in a row. We had some great crowds uh, early on. Uh, I think it was Amy Doobie's fan club. We were really chapping and clearing. Uh, clapping and cheering. Those are words. Yeah. That was awesome. Madison Powerball Riva going for Megabucks. I mean, there sounds like there's 800 people here, and there's only 500. But so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, three, seven, eight. On lane five here next. A great place to bowl and hang out at Shooter's Pub. 178, one of the best owners in the game, Rob Fakara mm -hmm. Sr. Darren doing the setup here today. Great job as always. Came out for vac vacation this weekend to run this today in the setup. Oh, is that right? Madison 8, oh. 34 through 3 in the first of three. Again, a big shout out to WON Sports Network and Jonathan Rios for putting this on. And those watching on Canlip and Bowling Network and all across digital platform, Canlip and Chat. On the nose. A banana split for the first time. Four, oh, now it goes away. Yep. Wasn't hungry, I guess. <laughs> Seven stands up, six, ten, right. Hey, she made this last game, didn't she, without the wood out front. It was a, a clean cut shot, right? I believe so. Try to kick it over. Let me try. Six right, seven left. And Sharon Britton on a spare next, a chance to take the lead. <laughs> Madison, field goal for an eight. 42 through four here in the first. Sharon Britton on lane five. 12 lane facility, wooden lanes just resurfaced recently and the pins are hopping here at times today. And that's like, gonna 385 yeah. in the last match against Faye Sawyer. I like the fact she seems relaxed. She uses body English. Beautiful ball, head pin, six, seven left, three, six, 10 right. Not too shabby, she's nailing a head pin pretty good, isn't she? 25 through two, down one. Up against an eight and a 10. Trying to kick it over. Good try. Oh, oh. doinked it. Right, Tough break. It looked good, but she capped it and uh, the, the pin went straight back. I'm gonna talk to her father, Lane Britton here, uh, next time she comes up. Sounds good. The coach. And Sharon will take an eight. Right, get up, get up. 33 through three. The coach, Lane Britton. Talk about your daughter, Sharon Britton. You have high hopes for her? Incredible. I, I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, hard worker, um, consider what she's had to go through. And she just. Living with you? Living with you? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> hey, all three of them have to live with me. So it's never, it's never easy. How are you? Are you, are you Appreciate you? Mike being here, too. Thank you. Thank my you very pleasure. much. Um, she just works hard and, and has done wonders with Mike. And uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see where she is today. I really am. Two years. You coached the Haverhill Hitman semi pro teams of national championship recently. Yes, sir. It was, uh, it was quite a joy to, to go down to Florida and, and be part of something that was. No, I never expected to be part of. But it's, again, it's not about me. It's what, what's in front of me today and in front of you guys. I'm still trying to get you on the Patriots staff. We could use you. Yeah, they, can, they don't want me. I'm, I'm too good for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach Lee Britton, thanks for stopping thanks, by. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Good Father of Sharon Britton. We're feeling a bowl. Is Jordan Britton also? And Caitlin Britton here also. The mother's here as well. 10, 45, 43. She leads 43, 40, 42. 43, 42. A one pin lead for 20 year old Sharon Britton and play-by-play play with Mike Morin. All right, this is already the third match for Ms. Kelly. And there it is, a strike on lane five. She was hitting that lane pretty good in the first game of the, the match before this one. She is a strike machine. She is. New nickname, Powerball, officially named today, with her approval. 
52 no ball. Back to Mike. How about a double? Wow. No. Well, that was an odd, uh, yeah, an odd lead. Bowling. Exactly. I mean, she hit the head pin and just has a, an undeserved leave. But you just never know what you're going to get sometimes. Yeah. But the object, look at this, 7, 9, 10. But she always gives it a good shot. Good grief. <laughs> Seven on the strike. 59 half, nine, or rather eight. 67. So seven, 67 is the total through six. Her accuracy is amazing from what we've seen. The first uh, six boxes. And we're going to get a radar gun on uh, on Sharon's shot here. The six of the nine. Down. Missed to left. Hey, get it out. Get it out. That's all. 28 miles an hour, which is pretty typical for most of the women here today. Uh, but we'll put uh, Maddie in a different category when it comes to that, of course. But she seems composed. Yes, yeah, she is. I think I think he gets nine, 52 half. I think winning the ladder gave her a lot of extra. I mean, she's confident anyway, but I think that really really helped her a lot. She bowled a face Sawyer, their team, that recent this past mm -hmm. season in the Sunday Pro League here once a month, the mixed league. Time in there, but she is hey, bowling out very. This was constant. I've seen her ever bowl. I mean, she's confident, like I said, but she really feels super confident today. Both bowlers five for six on the head pin. Thanks, Greg Guyar. No surprise there, buddy. <laughs> well, she, 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 de she, de will it down. she demonstrates more outward uh, fun than any of the bowlers we've seen today she in terms Arthur of body Fiedler. English. She went Arthur Fiedler there Arthur trying Fiedler. to go <laughs> maestro it down. <laughs> Arthur Fiedler, you're going way back. I know. Nine, I mean, that's 61 before, through six. That's before John Williams, right? Yes, now it's John Williams. Well, now oh, it's, no, it's Keith Lockhart. Keith Lockhart now. All right. Way back. 67-61, <laughs> Madison Ryber, the number three seed, leads number one seed Sharon Britton in this championship match for $1,200 by six. Back to Mike Warren. There it is, a light hit. And the diamond with some wood in there to uh, help shake things up just a bit more for 24-year-old Riva, Mrs. Riva. Right in the middle. Oh. You're so accurate that you just punch right through the middle. Take a nine. She's got two marks so far this game, a spare and a strike. Sharon has just one in the second frame. Madison's Rivas fills with seven and seven. Sharon's spare with six, and they're both pinning very well. Sharon's actually out pinned her as far as boxes go. Madison had a couple of eights. Sharon on nines and tens, and one mark. Another strike. Where did that, what, what pin took down the six? Where did that come from? 86 plus two through eight in the first of three from extra lanes. Judas Pub, great place to bowl, great place to hang out. Six Columbus Ave, check out their wood winning pizza, their chicken wraps, turkey wraps, salads, a whole lot more. Judas Pub, full bar also. Extra lanes, extra New Hampshire. Too accurate. Right up the middle. Two, two three, four, six, seven, ten. Spread Eagle, what's a 1%? 1% uh, conversion rate for professional yeah. bowls. The Woods, stats by Caleb Bowling Network. One in five for 10 bucks. Did a job, got the three. The Let's get them three at a time. What a great crowd on hand here today, Mike. Terrific, they love their women bowlers. And that is a pro shot on a Spread Eagle, a 10. You know what? To get a 10 when you have that to face, pretty darn good. 71 through seven, down five right now, but I think it's a strike from M Mrs. Powerball, Madison Riva. Now living in Maine, originally from Stoneham, Mass. Well, first time that she's gone that far right off the head pin. But she might have a little help with that pin up against the one. Now it's moving more toward the 10. Uh, it's a little more help when it's up close, I think. Well. Qualifying score of 586. Now that it's, last string, now that it's, it's frozen, so that's good. 600, five, 586 is her high five. Net hey, roll off. Hey, grab that stick now. Come on, grab that stick. Big ten. And now she's two marks behind. She's testing Madison, though. 
Back to back tens. 81 through eight here in the first. $1,200 on the line, 700 for the runner up. Madison hit the strike challenge earlier. She has $100 in bonus money and spares. Five in a row and three in a row. Two different points. $200 in bonus money. Back to Mike. Madison is, uh, wow, could have been a double. Six pin remains. She is just very cordial with all the, the people that she bowls against, uh, including the newest one today. She just seems to have a very friendly, likable way about her. And if you know her parents, then you totally get it. Yeah, she's not going to wait too long around for Sharon, is she? No, spare on strike. 96 to 8, 106 to ball through 9. Here she goes again. Last round, she had a 129, 128, well, 128, 385. With decent fill, another mark puts her possibly in the 130s. She marks in the 10th. Dominant performance winning the New Hampshire States this year also. And recently won a third consecutive mixed worlds. 122 through 9. Didn't miss by much. She'll still be in the 120s, 121, 122, depending on if she makes it or not, and she does. 10. 122 opening string for the Madison Powerball Riva. Well, two marks for Sharon would put her very, very close to Maddie. 41 to tie. Plenty of time left, two strings after this. One string roll off if there's a tie. Almost had in the first match with Amy Doobie and Peggy Donnelly, a two pin win. Hey, stay on that head pin, I don't care, stay on it. This goes. Triangle is a three, five, six, seven left. Yeah, and you got some mo uh, moving wood still. She'll of course try for the three. And hope the ball or the pin, the dead wood, slides over. But didn't hit the object pin. Not happy with herself here. Still three remaining. All right. So still could uh, get a 110 game with a strike and a spare. Greg, I'll copy one. I'll grab one phrase from Coach Britton yelling out, don't live on one ball. That's, I tend to perseverate. Ruminate. You gotta have mental toughness in this game. It's hard to do, but it's you gotta do. So many balls with great potential, throw it away with not staying focused. It's not easier said than done. Three, four, seven, eight. A little bit of frustration setting in. Madison Robert can do that to you. Madison Kelly before she got married in May, Evan Riva. Good bid there. That was Amer that was America's answer to the royal wedding, was it not? <laughs> I didn't watch it. I got better things to do. You didn't watch the Riva Kelly oh, wedding? Oh, no, not that one, no. I wasn't that oh, one. that's what I was I thought you talked talk about Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Three tens and nine, the last four. 100 first string, back with our second string in just a moment on WN Sports and Kenneth and Bowling Network. <laughs> Trick or treat! Wait till you hear what just happened. Welcome back to Kenneth Moe Network and WON Sports Network. Paul Grant, Mike Moore, and Greg Guya, Bob Lee. Ladies, Kenneth is a cancer, ladder two series, final round. Madison River won the first, 122, 100. Starts up the second, the five and seven. 22 pin lead for the number three seed. Piece of wood rolling back and forth. Isn't sure where it wants to finish. That would probably be the best spot for it, right where it's not at. A bad, not a bad position, yeah. though, the angle. 
little, a little carom shot here. Red line to Harvard. What's coming back? Just sailed right by it. It was the 10-inch uh, pin. It was a couple so inches no too short. The red line was out of service. No yeah, surprise. Was. Right. Gets the 10 to start the second of three. Her, mark, her marks have been impressive. Her fills yeah. overall today. She makes things happen. So much fun to watch. Fills of seven, nine, ten, and six last turn. One at 122, 100. It was really great to hear from Janet Pock. Thank you for, uh, for setting that oh, up. Sure. She has so many stories. I try to promote the, the game, the, the lanes, and the, the charity. Oh, what a try! Oh. Just missed the six. That would have been something. And chance a chance to cut it close now. Madison, two tens, 20 through two here in the second. Sharon Britton pinned really well. Had a spare six in the second. Open the rest way. Had 100 in the first, down 22. Yeah, you know what? 100 isn't too bad for just one mark. Having so. a best season, 106 right now. Was 101 a season ago. Is that right? Six. Right, that was from right, the one, three, six, ten, and Millis. It's the Rick Kamrowski special. Great bowler for years and years. Yeah. Very clutch bowler. A regular league yeah. bowler and bowling some some pro leagues there on Wednesday nights. Made a living off the shots, so I call it the Kamrowski special. He couldn't make it here today, sorry. Missed inside. Tend to keep pace, box to box. Yeah, because she's still just two marks down. She's hanging around. Slides left for a nine. Down one in the string, 23 in the match. Sunday, August 6th at Bowl of Armour in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 11 a.m. Check out the World Record Holders and Hall of Fame Bowlers now, and Pro Bowlers. The Kennel Fitz Cancer Fundraiser. Bowl at the pros and donate to Kennel Fitz Cancer. 11 a.m. Sunday, August 6th. Live coverage on Kennel Bowling Network. So there'll be a donation that people make if they want to... Ball with the pros. I'll be there with you and Mike Warren. Finish that throw. Come on. With, with, with again, as always. I suspect there'll be some good stories told and shared by the Absolutely. the pros. I mean, I look around the crowd we have here. A lot of pros are here today. Uh, mostly female pros, of course. Four in the eight. Spare! <laughs> 19 the ball through two. The crowd goes wild. Or as Johnny <laughs> Most would say, and the crowd goes wild. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I don't know if those metal singers can sing. They do karaoke. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get a sore throat listening to them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I have to survive the third box, second strikes. Strike bit! Got Boom. it! Another one! We'll call that one a hammer, I do believe. Three in the match. That seven pin was like, oh, oh was I supposed to fall now? <laughs> 30 plus two, perfect in the second. Two bonus balls coming up. Great crowd on hand. At extra lane, she was Bob. Off to the right, five. By a perfect ball, of course, means pin perfect. All the pins she's seen, she's knocked out. Forceman plus the eight, hiding behind the two. Second ball on the strike. Inside, leaves it the one and seven. 18 blocks, 38 through three in the second of three. Well, oh, the Kennel Fence for Cancel logo sign. Nine, not perfect anymore in this string. 47 through four. And Shannon Britton on a big bonus ball on lane five above the WON Sports logo. Let's go. Let's go. Nine to 10, here we are. 19 the ball. Right now down 23 in the match. On the fill, just missed the pocket, five. 24 through two, currently up four in the string. Down 18 in the match, up against a strike. Eight and a nine. Good bid, off the wall, almost. Got the horses, not the nine. Heck of a try. Boy, she's throwing a great ball overall. The 20 year older threw it away for nine. 33 through three. Now she's down five in the string, 27 in the match. And watch out for her in a few years. Yeah, she does have pretty good poise for somebody that's not even 21 yet. 
Her father believes she can be the top female bowler in the game. A bold statement. But obviously a bias, but she has potential. Like a lot of these young bowlers coming up. Kelsey Layton out of the Big 20 of Shannon Scribner already. <coughs> Born well. Of course, you have Amanda Carey. You have Christy Hapworth in Maine and Vanessa Huff. Some bowlers up north. That bounce back. Oh! Nice shot for a spare. Double fist pump. Second spare of the string. 43 and a ball through four. So she went from massive disappointment to uh, just feeling exalted from the one to the spare. Play by play with Mike Morin. All right, here's Maddie. And she opens something. Big split. It's three, four, six, seven. And she's not working on a spare or a strike. Missed the object pin. Just a ferocious competitor. Very confident bowler. Yeah, she is, but how often is she really pushed is the question. She pushed herself, which is good. Yeah, that's, half. That, that's a good point. Halfway through a match. Because you are bowling against yourself most of the time. Yes, great. Standard candle pin tactics on the third ball. Go for the cluster of pins on the left side to maximize your pin count. Okay, now back to lane four, Mike Morin. <laughs> Cluster is a word that I use a lot about my game, but that's not the same thing you're talking about, I don't think. <laughs> we won't go there. No, we will Two, not. four and five, Madison. All right, this is not a real difficult one when you're Madison Riva. Piece of cake. So that's her uh, second mark this game. Both bowlers with two marks. And 66 in the ball through six. Sharon needs to make a statement here with a couple more marks to push Madison Riva. Working on a spare in lane five here in extra lane, shoot us pub. I should love when that happens. It looks like you're gonna leave a four horsemen or something and you end up just nicking the one pin over and something she can work with. Three in the 10 for two in a row, 51 through four. Oh, got robbed. Wow. That's a bad wow. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Get your wow shirt, self support, can't help us for cancer. $25 for each shirt, up to 3X, 30 for 4 or 5X, $10. Gilded brand shirts, go to the charity. So, what's the most the popular color, Paul? Black sells the most. Has some red and blue, but black sells the most. We have red and blue. We can special order certain colors. Can you? Yep. You've ordered the green one from Mike Walker, that Maine Camp Motor Association president yeah. out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. You got a green one. You got a couple of green ones, some pink ones here and there. And Frank DeLuca makes them for Alley Chat. Great job, Frank, making those shirts. Yeah, good job. Come on. Beautiful ball. Only the seven remains. And a piece of wood in front push, that push, she can't avoid. It's still rolling back. It's rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Couldn't find an electric charging station. <laughs> There it is. All right. Three marks. Now the last mark, 60 F, 70 the ball through six. On the move here in the second. Both on spares. Madison Riva, 66 in the ball. Sharon Britton, 70 in the ball. Madison up 18 in the match. Back to Mike Warren. All right. Waiting for a little, uh, little work on her hair to make it a little more comfortable. Well, you know what that's like, Paul. What's, what was that? <laughs> Working on her hair. Oh, what, what hair? <laughs> Mine's all natural, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is real. <laughs> all right, that's for Phil. It's supposed to be a sign of wisdom. It hasn't worked for me yet. <laughs> Still got time. Six in the spare. Good try there. Up to 72 through six. Yeah, I think she put it where Phil. she wanted to, but it just didn't, didn't happen. Didn't fall. She's out there working hard. 10 box, 82 through seven, the second of three. What a battle this has been. Sharon keeping her on her toes. A 20 and a 26 year old, a head to head for $1,200 in the championship. Amanda Carroll, the current champion. Skip around, usually uh. in that series. You can't bowl if you win the top five. <laughs> they kept on falling except for the five. And this is the queen pin for the ladies, I call it. I think that's a good call. She get that incorporated. Let's talk to Ralph Sum about that. Talk to who? Ralph Sum. 
Who's ever in charge of that? So I thought you said. Spare. <laughs> 92 to ball through eight. Third mark of the string. A strike and two spares. He's the grand poobah of Candlepin Bowling, isn't he? Yep, he's up in Canada right now working on trying to get Canada ICBA compliant. Possibly. Oh, I, yeah. I knew there was conversation about yeah. that, but what are the chances? We'll see. Sharing on a bonus. Back to Mike. Come on! All right. There's a great fill. Possibility now of two marks in a row. 79 through 6 of 7 in the string, down 15 in the match. She'll want to do it directly. I mean, she could use that Deadwood as a guide. All right. Now we're moving. Let's go. Let's go. Back to back. Three out of four. Four in the string. 89 the ball through seven. Here comes Sharon Britton. And she's got a bit of a lead this game over Madison Riva. This is great for the sport. You see someone like this, the number one seed. Right. And so poised. In there. Come on. Come on. Why not? Can't get the four to go. Six on the spare. 95 through seven for the 106 league bowler. Bonus money at stake here for $25. Catch it. Catch. Oh, oh you can see what she was trying to do. In your archer pin's a good thing. Doesn't seem like it sometimes. Should go for the two, obviously. Oh, boy, nine, 104 through eight. What a battle. Madison, a bonus, 92 to ball. Six and a ball in favor of Madison in the match, almost two thirds through. Hey. Kind of a sour hit right there. And a five, a six fill. And that was the lead as this frame unfolded. Oh, wood slice and dice in between. The three and the eight. Spare six, 98 through eight. So it's a 12 pin lead since we yeah. factored in the spare. Oh. All right. 106 to nine with an eight. Current average of 119 for Madison Kelly. High single 183. Won't be long before she punches through the 200 uh, stratosphere. Her high five is 686. And there a is a strike, a crusher. Four strikes in the match, wow. 116 plus two in the 10th. And nobody is surprised, <laughs> she's that good. I think it's good, I think it's good, I think it's good. Looking for a double. No double this time. Four, seven, 10 remains with some wood on the deck. Could be helpful. Yeah, it's 100 in the first for sharing the score. It shows 104, it was 100 on our screen. Yeah, I was trying to nick it and get some sidewall action. Didn't happen. All right, Sharon, here we go, let's go. But a 123 game. That's five strings in a row going back to the last mat, two matches. That's true. In the 120s, 245, the number three seed. Oh, there you go. And number one seed, Sharon Britton, 104 through eight. Two marks, and we have pretty much close to a tie. Get in there. Well, at least she wasn't on a spare. No fun to shoot at that one, but. Do we have the two-second version of the? Uh, that was for <laughs> WN Sports Network fan side, Greg. Right. Uh, yeah, there was a Boston team and a Worcester team. It came down to the final box, and a Worcester team punched out through the two-eight or the three-nine. Who knows? And the Boston team said, "You're halfway back to Worcester." Oh, wow! wow. Shot. That was sensational! All there for a 10! That's a Danny Finn 10. Hey, let's go, let's Why Danny spare. Finn? Because we grief when we get excited about 10 bucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, when they look like that, you should. You get excited about that. That's a yeah, great right. shot. That's but a normally great you wouldn't. That's a confidence builder, too. And that is possibly going to give her the lead this game. All right. 114 through 9, a 10 to win by one well, pin. Yeah, exactly. She lost by 22 in the first. The mark would be huge. Not going to be easy. Get in it. Get in it. Oh! oh! What a shot for wow. a spare. Five Christ. spares in the second. 124 in the ball in the 10th. Had a very supportive crowd for her today. Get in it. Mm. Get in it. Oh! 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 
Six to one, 30. 130, second strength, number one seed. Good game. 230 through two. Madison Rabbit, 245, Sharon Britton, 230. Back with a third string, just a moment. Evidence of Metropolis Science Department claims that the quakes are aftershocks coming from the town of Lakeland. The most disturbing part is that the evidence points to the abandoned Mark Luther Pool House. After today, I am going to make sure that whoever did this goes down and I will take this whole place with it. God. I have a strange feeling I know where this is coming from. And if I'm right, there's gonna be hell to pay. Welcome back to Kennel from Mullen Network's presentation of the Ladies' Ladder 2 Series. Kennel from Sacan's a top five show. It's the final two. Madison River, the number three seed. Leading number one seed, Sharon Britton, 245, 230. Paul Grant, Mike Morin, Greg Guia, Bob Lee. Madison starts off the final string, nine. How many times you said nine drop today? <laughs> I know. A Baker's, do have, Baker's dozen, I think. I think this is the first game that Madison has lost today. Just thinking yep. back. Yep. For a spare. Bang! Mm. Spare to stop the third. Mm. Ten of the ball. Mm. Up 15 coming in. $1,200 on the line. 700 for the runner up. Madison already has $200 in bonus money. $100 in spares and $100 in the strike challenge. On the cross. Over eight, the Woolworth discount, the five and ten. All the right. old department store chain. Pretty helpful wood. 18 through one to start the final string. Overtime if there's a tie after three. One string roll off. Almost happened in the first round. Yeah. Last ball. Madison won't go. Break for Sharon Britton. Maddie can't believe that that Sharon's one didn't hanging go. Around. Nine. Nine kilo, let's go. 27 let's through go. two. What a match, Mike Morin. 15 pin difference going in, and uh, yet to see Sharon Bull this game. Talk about your three books real quick, if you could. I uh, did a book on uh, 30 years, uh, 50 years in radio, and I also did a book on cattle pin bowling, uh, Lunch with Tommy and Stacia. And a third book about the Red Arrow Diner, turned 100 years old last fall, and all of the politicians, celebrities, and just everyday Joes who come in to make that one of the most interesting places to just people watch. So thank you. Good try by Sharon. That's in Manchester, New Hampshire, by the way. It is, and the book. Check it out. If you want to just write to me, uh, Mike Moore in Media at gmail.com. I can hook you up. How can you get this? How can I get the book, Mike? From you? I just go to Mike Moore in Media. Email me, Mike Moore Media at gmail.com. M O R A N. I N. I N. What am I saying? I was testing right. you. <laughs> I know you were. I'm surprised I caught it. <laughs> Nine for Sharon. <laughs> Right now down nine in the string, 24 in the match, but up against a nine. Three marks away, potentially tying it up. Beautiful ball, crossing over. Boy, that was a great shot on the Brooklyn side. Surprised it didn't go. Five, nine, seven left. Would to possibly help, not gonna be easy. Coach is saying, the father, Coach Britton, left of the wood. She goes red line, nothing doing. Mm. 
So she'll fall a little bit further behind, 15 pin difference starting this game. And you can add another probably 10 or so here. Nice out nine, 18 through two here in the third. Madison River up nine the string, 24 in the match. I mentioned at the top of each show, pinning is a 24 pin difference right now. And it's the best pinning we've seen so far. But Statistician Bobbley keeping us on top of it so we can keep you in the loop. Four down, six to go. Mike with the play-by-play. -play. And you're looking at the four horsemen. And another pin stands. I don't think I saw the five. Was there a five pin back there? Yeah. The queen pin. The, yeah, the queen pin. I didn't see it. I better get a refund on my cataract surgery if <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> Oh, what I was going to say is Major League Baseball has analytics. We have Bob Lee. I'll, I'll take the latter. Thank you. Bob Lee, the executive producer of Cannibal Note, does a great He's, job as always. He still believes in using a pen and a notebook versus every uh, metric you could ever think of. Don't let it go to your head, Lee. <laughs> 4 7 10 Madison Riva. Won uh, the mixed ladder with John Blaze from San Francisco, San Francisco, Maine in April. Watched on Cannibal Morning Network. Oh, good bid. 7-10 goal post. That was 35 miles an hour. Is she getting tired? Hit and the, that's an no go. Yeah, hit the wood in the channel. So eight. 44 through four, Sharon. She's leaving the door open, isn't yep. she? Yeah, door's open. Hey, Ken, what do you say? Too much for help. Except for your 106 average, your bully, your bully, it's a 119 average, but she's hanging in there. Cross the over, strike! 28 plus two through three in the third, wow! Yeah, I bet you can't do that again, let's go! <laughs> now we're lane four. I love her body English and her expression. She's young, she's good, and she's hungry. Oh, imagine beating Madison Riva. Got a ways to go for that to happen, and there's a six drop. But of course, we score the bonus pins after the second ball on a strike. As most of you know, unless you're new to the game. Hey, 18, I like that. Nothing on 18. Come on, grab a stick. Eight and a strike, 36 to three. All right, back to minus 15, which is how we started this game. <laughs> she tried to uh, fit it in there. 45-44. She's up one in the string, down 14 in the match. The match. No marks on the board. Back to Mike. So it is still anybody's game, really. For the $1,200 top prize. All right, the question is, can Sharon Britton take advantage? Of, will probably not be a spare box. So she'll try to make a 10 out of it. And she does. 54 half. Mike, just a couple of promotions, ladies. The 30th annual, 30th annual Ladies International Tournament right here at X Lane Shooters Pub. Saturday, August 5th, starting at 9 a.m. $500 per team. Message Amy Doobie on Facebook or Candle from Chat. Ladies Single Elimination Friday night at 6.30 or X Lane's. That's August 4th. $50 entry fee. And the next time I see you, we'll be at the Hall of Fame. Uh, August 6th. August 6th. Hall of Fame. At Hall Bolorama of Fame in, in Pro Bowls. Yeah. Both the pros donate to Candlepins for Cancer, a 501c3 charity. Donations via Venmo, CandlepinsforCancer.com. Four splits for Madison, unfortunately, this string. She's having a rough go of it. But pinning well. And she'll go for the 7 8. And look at that. Nice sweeping 10. There back is back tens. That is a lesson in spare shooting. Just make that wood work for you. 64 through 6. Let's go. Indeed. All right, so back to back 10s is what Sharon Britton is up against in frames number 4, I'm sorry, 5 and 6. Hey, come on. All right, now, hey, finish the throw, 
Powder break, no split, pretty full hit. Leaves a 3-6. Just over one and two times he's gone for Pro Bowl. It's not wood stats by Canopy Bowling Network. A couple of chances she missed. Well, well, a 10 still keeps her, you know, where she was. Ten blocks, 55 half. Two marks away, a mark to put it in single digits. Still a 14 pin match with five. She's down 14. To go for her. One on a doll strike challenge afterwards. If we tie after three, we do a one string roll off until somebody wins. Get in there, mix. Held it just a bit too long. Hey, this one's all yours. Went to the left. All yours. Come on. The one, three, six, eight. Not an easy one. All right, so she made it easy on herself for the third and final shot for 10, matching 10 for 10. Boxes five and six, both bowlers. She was down 15 after two. And with that nine, she's down 15 through six mm -hmm. boxes in the third. <coughs> 60, four apiece actually, so 15. Still 15 pins, right Greg? 15 pins? 15 pin lead in the match. Tied in the string, Madison by 15, four boxes to go. Well, that was a pretty well-placed ball, but a, f a flat hit. But a pretty good uh, spare option here. Seven and the eight. A lot of wood to help out. Must wait for that wood to stop by rule before you throw the ball. Yeah, now she got double the momentum, but maybe not when you have that, double that, wood. That helps now, though. Yeah, it should. Confined area like that with a third piece. Yep. And with the speed that she has and the accuracy, you kind of thought it would go, and it did. 74 and a ball through seven here in the third, final string of the match. We're into the home on stretch. On Bowling Network and WON Sports Network. Please share this match with your friends and family. Invite them to bowl, Canlip and Bowling. Wow, not the fill she was hoping for. It's the check mark on the left and the 10 pin on the right. It's very doable. 79 through seven. Oh, what a try! Oh, she got it! Oh, incredible shot! The diamond plus the 10, 89 the ball through eight. Wow! What do you say, Sharon? What do you say? Very important spot for that. It's a deflating blow for Sharon Britton. But she can keep pace with two marks and still give herself a chance. She probably need to mark out now. Well, this is not the last time she's going to be bowling no. Madison for big money. Yeah. Supposedly Riverwalk Lane's Ainsbury Mass. I'm sure Mark Ritchie is pretty proud at this moment if he's watching. Yes. Oh, it won't go. Tough break. Yeah, it is getting late now. She might be in double strike territory. Yeah, I would but say. But you got to give it credit. Yeah. She's hung in there mm -hmm. all day. It's the 10. <laughs> 74 through 7. And strike 8 in the third. Big applause for Madison right, right, for her, on, which is on, nice to see. Twelve hundred dollars for the winner, seven hundred for the runner-up. Britain in the pocket, eight, two in the seven, needs a mark. Critical shot here to stay in it. For a spare. Off the wall, get it! 84 to ball through eight. Two bucks to go in the match. Love the excitement. Both on spares. Right. Plus 20, is that? Yep. yep. Plus 20 for Madison right now, and she's on a spare. That doesn't factor in any bonus pins. 20 pin lead is the lead for Madison Riva. Won the mixed doubles. John Blaze trying to win her singles for the first time. Quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> How's that sky bar going, by the way? Did you finish your sky bar yet? I did. That's for the ride home, buddy. Okay. Yeah, thank you for bringing that in. Sure. 
I'd get a kick out of that. <laughs> oh. She has three in the fill. You don't see that too often today. She had two earlier on one of them. Yeah, she was 92 through eight. That's good news for Shannon Britton. She was a bit distracted before throwing that frame. Right down the middle. Two, four, seven left. The three to the right. Takes out a nine, almost a 10. 101 through nine. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. This will be her final box. But I think you're right, still double strike territory. Did you ever, did you ever have Weevils growing up? Uh, I didn't own any. I lived in the poor, poor part of town. Mary, Mary Ann Kelly just gave uh, her daughter her shirt off her back so she could dry her hands. <laughs> Madison crossing over eight, seven, ten goal post. And Wood rolling to the ten. Trying to push it down, holds up. But that gives her a chance to barrel it over east coast to west coast. Basically has to at this point. Yeah, other one will. If she does, it would shut out for it. Miracles on territory. For a spare. Oh, the ball oh. flew over the seven. Wouldn't come down for a landing. So essentially now if uh, Britain marks out. That may give her a chance. Madison 10, 111 final string. 356 had a 385 last round. 356 for number three seed. Sharon needs a 126 to tie. For overtime 127 to win. Needs to mark out 84 to ball through eight on Kenneth Mullen Network and WON Sports. Britain on the bonus in the pocket six to diamond. Just a little one in four times to convert for Pro Bowls, not Wood. Stats by Kenneth Mullen Network, 90 through eight. So Needs two mark. down by completed frames in this game. In the game. Yeah. Front of the mark. No! Oh, the queen pin holds up the five. Oh, that's killer. Now she needs a double strike. What a great bid. Good stick. 10, 100 through nine. Double strike six for overtime, double strike seven to win. Come on, you've been holding that double. 20 year old doing great all day. Holding her own. Fire it out there, kiddo. And a 100 and a 130 for the 106 League Bowl out of Academy Lanes, Pub 125. Able Mass. He's a strike. No. And Madison Marvis won the latter series. Wow. $1,200, 700 for Sharon Britton. What a performance by Sharon Britton. Falls short. And this is going to be great for a game, though, long term. You're right about that. That's why you want to bowl in all these tournaments, get good with the competition. Just missed right. And she has so many chances on those two pinners, missed by one pin. Very competitive all day, Mike. Been a pleasure to watch every one of these women. Hope you've enjoyed it at home. Sharon, 10. Two tens, one ten, final string, 330, a 110 average, final score, 356. 330, Greg? 340. 356, 340. A 16 pin win. Madison Meyer is your letter two championship winner. And now she'll bowl for a $100 strike challenge. You got one earlier today. She has $200 of bonus money so far. Bob Lee, real quick. Yeah, that was fantastic bowling at the end. Uh, Sharon Britton needed, needed a double strike 16 to just keep even, but it was uh, <laughs> I think I think the shot of the match was Maddie's uh, check plus one. Now she's going for her th third, her third overall strike for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Looks good. Eight. She was betting a thousand. Now she's missed the last two. She's okay. human. Fifty percent clip. Not bad. <laughs> Pretty yeah. strike. Yeah. That looks good. Six. All right. We'll talk to the Bulls here in just a moment. <laughs> All right. Mike Warren, radio personality and author of three books. What a match this was. You know, it was not a gimme in any sense of the word. And uh, I wonder how somebody so young 
can have so much poise and keep it together bowling up against the top woman bowler in the world. I yeah. think. All right, you're going to talk to Sharon Britton first. Come on up, Sharon. Sharon yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the, by the way, but, but before we uh, congratulate you, uh, this uh, shirt belongs to, I believe, Marianne Kelly. Yeah. Right? So. Out. Oh, we got We got. We have to raffle it off for Candlepins for Cancer. <laughs> Who'll give me ten dollars for this shirt? Who'll give me fifteen? Going once, going twice. Who? Who give me? Going. No. Who give me twelve hundred dollars? All right. So anyway, congratulations. How did you feel about the overall experience? I was so nervous at first, and then like after like the first two boxes, I was like calm and I was good, and I was. It was. It's so exciting to bowl with such amazing women. And bowling with these girls that I like look up to, it's awesome. Being 20 years old, seeing all these women bowl, it's, it's, I look up to all, you know, all of them. So it's a, good, it's a very good experience. And I was so nervous at first, but ev all the cheering and all the, I, like, I was confident going into like, the second string and I finally like, got comfortable and so. I wouldn't have believed you if you said you weren't nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any sleep last night? No. No, no, not at all. <laughs> well, I think sometime you and uh, the lovely Mrs. Re Arriva should uh, hook up as a, a doubles team. Absolutely, that would be so fun. Would you be okay with that? All right, we'll make that happen. That would be so fun. All right. Congratulations. We loved watching you both. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. 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 Very proud of you again. Mark Ritchie proud of Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass. And we hope to see you in the September 9th Women's Doubles event, 220 event. You have, we have $700 for being the runner-up today. A three-letter oh, word? Oh, a three-letter oh, word. Thank you. Wow. The number three seed, Madison Riva, wins again. No, no strange to being number one. $1,200 for first place, $200 in bonus money, $100 for the strike challenge, $100 in spare bonus money as well. That'll be a great down payment on a house for the mortgage payment. <laughs> I don't get to spend my money anymore, so... Al wants a cut of it, though, you said, though. Hey, I, I saved you the last two. How do you get bowl so well? Sharon really tests you all day. You know, a lot of people, I mean, you motivate yourself. We were talking about that during the broadcast that there's no one to really push you. You're, you're average pretty much. How do you motivate yourself to do so well? I just keep my foot on the gas. You know, it's, it's hard to be perfect in this game. And, I mean, every like I said the last match, too, every pin counts. I mean, Sharon picked up three pi seven pins the second game and made it a game. And no game is ever given to you, ever. All right, congratulations. When you've won two ladders in a row, the mixed ladder, and now the first singles ladder series, final one of the season. Yes. Three-letter word. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, you here's your $1,400. You Madison Rob, you're winning championship here at Extra Lane Shooters Club. Thanks to Rob Ficar here at Extra Lane and Darren helping out today. Mike, your thoughts on today's four-string match. We saw a little bit of everything, but we saw uh, some really exciting matches, and the top bowler won again. Yeah. Thanks for watching this great game of Candlepin Bowling. Greg Gouillard to wrap it up. Thanks so much. Hey, so that wraps up our second season of Candlepins for Cancel, but remember, a third one on the way, so log on to candlepinsforcancer.com, just like you see it on screen, to donate today and take part next season. My name's Greg Guyar. For Paul Grant, Mike Morin, and Bob Lee, and everyone here at Candlepin Bowling Network, thank you so much for watching this presentation of us and of WON Sports, and we will see you next time. Final box of the match. Oh, hey. strike! Wow! What a way to finish! And now he officially tires again. What a finish. 131 for Chris Sargent. What a match, Greg. I get it right once in a great while. Not too often. Oh, nice ball on the eight. And the dreaded. Oh, well, you know just gone. Not anymore. Oh, he's yeah. got a ball! Oh. Merry Christmas! <laughs> strike on Edge going into game two. Weebles go! The gun does go! Wow! <laughs> Slow motion strike on spare! Wow! What a finish! That looks good! She got it! Hundred dollars! Wow! She got it! Her second!
second strike, wow!